You know, guys, it's bad enough that the Democrat tyrants around the country at all levels of government are breaking their oaths of office to do everything they can just to get rid of Donald Trump from the 2024 election by charging him with crimes he never committed and listing things as crimes that aren't even real crimes because they surround speech that is protected by the First Amendment. That's bad enough. But when you have Republican governors like Brian Kemp of Georgia coming out against Trump and bending over as far as he can for the Democrat tyrants, I think it's time America sends a message. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. So Donald Trump is the first opposition leader to experience what happens when your country goes communist. I'm not being hyperbolic here, folks. This is what communists do. The Democrats are making it crystal clear. Due process, the rule of law, and free and fair elections, those are so 20th century. But what's truly astonishing is the warning shot fired by our very own rhino Republicans like Brian Kemp. I want to put a fair warning out to Republicans like Brian Kemp about bending over as far as they can to let the Democrat tyrants shove it with bad intentions by putting out tweets like what Brian Kemp did on Tuesday. The governor of Georgia went out of his way to go to Truth Social, Donald Trump's social media platform, and he copied a post by former President Trump who talked about election fraud that took place in Georgia, and Kemp tweeted out his own response. Trump wrote a large, complex, detailed, and irrefutable report on the presidential election fraud which took place in Georgia is almost complete and will be presented by me at a major news conference at 11 a.m. on Monday of next week in Bedminster, New Jersey. Based on the results of this conclusive report, all charges should be dropped against me and others. There will be a complete exoneration. They never went after those that rigged the election. They only went after those that fought to find the riggers. And Brian Kemp responded saying, the 2020 election in Georgia was not stolen. For nearly three years now, anyone with evidence of fraud has failed to come forward under oath, and prove anything in a court of law. Our elections in Georgia are secure, accessible, and fair, and will continue to be as long as I am governor. The future of our country is at stake in 2024, and that must be our focus. I guess Kemp forgot the fact that not a single judge would even allow the evidence to be presented in court. I guess he forgot about that, right? He must have. First of all, Kemp acts as if there were not any legislature hearings in Georgia after the 2020 election. One of my best friends, Mark Davis, who is a Republican consultant in Georgia who helped Kemp get elected in 2018. Well, Mark testified at that hearing about election fraud that he determined took place after the Trump legal team asked him to look at the 2020 Georgia voter data and give his analysis. Mark is a data expert. It's what he does. He was deemed an expert witness in five trials by judges on election law and redistricting. In other words, the man knows what he's talking about. He wrote and signed an affidavit in 2020 after the election about at least two of the election fraud evidence cases that he found. I talked about this in a video the other day, but after seeing what Kemp did, I have to point out again some of the points made from Mark's affidavit. I don't know if it's because rhino Republicans like Brian Kemp are afraid of the tyrants in the Democratic Party going after them, if they point out that they're behaving like tyrants, or if they're just selfish, power-grabbing monarchs themselves who are looking out for their own political futures while allowing the Democrat communists to get away with what they are doing. But these Republicans have to learn that by undermining Trump, they're undermining the very voters they need to win elections. In his affidavit, Davis wrote, I show 14,980 people who moved out of the state but voted in our November 3rd, 2020 general election. Now, do I have to explain that it's against the law to vote when you moved out of the state? Do I? Davis cited another election fraud irregularity and said that he shows 40,279 Georgians who moved across county lines more than 30 days before the election, but then cast a vote in their old county residence. 
Brian Kemp knows that if you move to a new county and you don't notify the state more than 30 days before an election, you are not allowed to vote in either your old county or your new county. That is the law. These two things right there are enough that Brian Kemp should not have attacked Donald Trump the way he did. When it's clear as day that Trump is being railroaded by the sheer lawlessness of the communist Democrats who are trying to take out their party's top opposition leader, By throwing out due process, the Constitution, and the rule of law. You cowardly rhino Republicans need to understand that you need MAGA voters more than they need you. One thing history has taught us is that when tyrants learn that they can get away with breaking the rules and ignoring the law, which is what the Democrats are doing right now, history has shown us that tyrants have never once voluntarily given up their power. So the Brian Kemp's, the Chris Christie's, the Lindsey Graham's, the Mitt Romney's and the Asa Hutchinson's and all the rest of you need to understand that it's not just Trump who will receive this type of treatment, but all of you as well. And then the rest of the American people just read a fucking history book, for God's sake. Republican governors and those in Congress can actually end this now by pulling your heads out of your collective asses and standing up to this tyranny and telling them that you won't stand for it and that they need to cease and desist immediately. Because if they get away with what they're doing right now, what they are doing right now during this election cycle, we will lose the republic forever. So the message to the rhino Republicans out there is that if you want to win future elections, then you need the MAGA voters, otherwise you don't have a prayer. And if you let this tyranny, this lawlessness by Democrat prosecutors across the country continue, the Trump voters will dump you. Don't test them, folks. Look what happened to Anheuser-Busch. People are so fed up with you in the Republican Party that they will dump you quicker than pouring out a Bud Light down the toilet. All right. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos with like-minded friends. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and as always, remember to read between the lines. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.